A big advance has been made by U.S. scientists in the effort to recreate nuclear fusion. Physicists have explored the technique for decades, since it represents a possible source of near-limitless renewable energy. On Tuesday, researchers claimed they have surmounted a significant obstacle, creating more energy from a fusion experiment than was put in. But scientists think there is still some way to go before fusion powers houses. How does nuclear fusion work? The experiment took place at the National Ignition Facility at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, LLNO, in California. LLNO Director Dekar Kim Boodle said, This is a historic achievement. During the past 60 years, hundreds of individuals have contributed to this project and it required remarkable vision to bring us here. Nuclear fusion is touted as the holy grail of energy creation. It is the process that powers the sun and other stars. It works by taking pairs of light atoms and pushing them together. This fusion releases a lot of energy. It is the opposite of nuclear fission. When heavy atoms are torn apart, fission is the technique now employed in nuclear power stations. But the process also creates a lot of trash that continues to give off radiation for a long time. It can be harmful and must be stored securely. Nuclear fusion creates significantly more energy and just modest amounts of short-lived radioactive waste and critically, the method creates no greenhouse gas emissions, and hence does not contribute to climate change. But one of the challenges is that forcing and keeping the elements together in fusion requires very high temperatures and pressures. Until yet, no experiment has succeeded to create more energy than the quantity put in to make it function. How close is a fusion-powered future? The quantity of energy that created in this experiment is modest, just enough to boil a few kettles. But what it signifies is significant. The prospect of a fusion-powered future is one step closer. But there's still a long way to go before this becomes a reality. This experiment indicates that the science works. Before scientists can even think about scaling it up, it needs to be replicated, polished, and the quantity of energy it creates will have to be greatly enhanced. This endeavor has cost billions of dollars. Fusion does not come cheap. But the prospect of a supply of clean energy will undoubtedly be a huge motivation for solving these hurdles. The National Ignition Facility in California is a $3.5 bin, £2.85 bin project. It inserts a little quantity of hydrogen inside a capsule the size of a peppercorn. Then a strong 192 bean laser is utilized to heat and compress the hydrogen fuel. The laser is so intense, it can heat the capsule to 100 million degrees Celsius hotter than the center of the sun, and compress it to more than 100 billion times that of Earth's atmosphere. Under these forces, the capsule begins to collapse on itself, pushing the hydrogen atoms to fuse and release energy. On announcing the achievement, Dr. Marvin Adams, Deputy Administrator for Military Projects at the U.S. National Nuclear Security Administration, revealed that the laboratory's lasers had input 2.05 megajoules, MJ, of energy to the target which had subsequently created 3.15 mg of fusion energy output. Dejar Melanie Windridge, CEO of Fusion Energy Insights, told the BBC, Fusion has been intriguing scientists since they first worked out what was causing the sun to shine. These results today truly put us on the path to the commercialization of the technology. Jeremy Chittenden, professor of plasma physics and co-director of the Center for Inertial Fusion Studies at Imperial College London, termed it a genuine breakthrough moment. It demonstrates that the long-sought-after aim, the holy grail of fusion, may really be accomplished, he added. This has been the opinion shared by physicist Globe, who commended the work of the international science community. Prof. Gianluca Grigori, professor of physics at the University of Oxford, said, Today's triumph hinges upon the effort done by numerous scientists in the US, UK, and throughout the world. With ignition now achieved, not only fusion energy is liberated, but also a door is opening to new science. On the question of how long before we could see fusion being used in power stations, Dr. Boodle, the LLNO director, said there were still significant hurdles, but that, with concerted efforts and investment, a few decades of research on the underlying technologies could put us in a position to build a power plant. This is advancement from when scientists used to say 50 to 60 years in answer to that question. One of the key barriers is bringing costs down and scaling up the energy output. The project was only able to create enough energy to boil approximately 15 to 20 kettles and cost billions of dollars of expenditure. 
and although the experiment pulled more energy out than the laser put in, this did not include the energy needed to make the lasers function, which was significantly larger than the quantity of energy the hydrogen produced.